The message to send to the world is quite simple. It's the same message the character's been sending um, since his invention. And also every other mythological character has been created by mankind. Is hope. There's always hope. There's always a chance. Um, just keep on struggling. Don't lie down and let adversity beat you down. Um, and what was the last part of the question, sir? Did you have any hesitate about playing this character? Uh, no, I didn't hesitate at all. Um, I think you'd have to be a crazy person to hesitate because it's such an amazing opportunity. The, the character is so rich um, and you work with Zack Snyder, Chris Nolan and Warner Brothers. If I were to have hesitated, I think I would have to have a word with myself and you know, say maybe take myself to the side of the because the opportunity is just amazing. And now here sitting at the end of it, definitely make the right call there to be an introduction to a character like Brainiac. I wouldn't want to come in direct conflict with Brainiac immediately because I would like that to be um, further down the line. Um, but perhaps it's like sort of the tendrils of his consciousness affecting Earth in some way, shape or form. Um, maybe the whisperings of Candor would be very good. So it gives Kal-El some hope um, himself. And uh, Lois Lane and Clark, Cal, it's, it's an interesting one. Um, I would like it to be explored as a very new thing and not a simple thing because, and obviously without the obvious choices and decisions, in that kind of relationship, relationships are tough enough as it is, but in that kind of relationship where one of you is a godlike being, it's, it's going to you know, create some questions. And so um, I'd like those questions to be raised, and not just make it like a simple story of affection, but you know, a, a genuine, real-life story. Well, one thing which I think is great about audiences these days is that we're becoming more and more accustomed to the fact that actors are actors, and it doesn't necessarily matter which role they play, um, it's not going to define their next performance. And so Amy is that good that, yes, she's played a Disney princess in the past, but you're going to see none of that.